All right, round two, old Butterfinger versus new Butterfinger. I don't normally do this. Today I'm going to do this, and I'll explain why. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement. No, no, no. No intro for this one. We're just going to get right to it. I don't know how long ago I posted this review, but uh, Butterfinger was sold. I think it went from Nestle to Ferrera, and um, they have a new recipe right there. It says improved recipe. So I did a comparison of the OG uh, Nestle Butterfinger right here to the new and improved they're saying improved, uh, new recipe, Butterfinger. And let me tell you, I got hit with more dislikes in negative comments about these two bars than I've ever gotten in any video ever. The comments were crazy. They're like, it's nasty, the new one. It's nasty. It tastes like garbage. They ruined Butterfinger. How can we trust someone who likes the older version better, meaning me, because in the video, I did say I think I preferred the new one slightly better. Slightly better. But everyone came out of the woodwork. It seems to be universal that people just hate this brand new improved recipe Butterfinger. Now, the difference is they use different uh, peanuts to give it a more peanut flavor. And there's a different chocolate. And like I said, it's a different uh, chocolatier. It is Ferrera and not Nestle. So before I try these two, because I'm going to try them again, but I would like to address a couple of the comments that I had gotten uh, regarding these two bars. The first one, like I said, said that the uh, new one tasted like garbage. Okay, it's a candy bar. It's chocolate. It's a good tasting candy bar. It's a candy bar. I don't know what kind of garbage this person has, but I would like to be eating their garbage because I've never eaten garbage, but I'm pretty sure garbage is disgusting. I mean, it's garbage. So to say that this tasted like garbage, no, that's incorrect. Now, if you say that this version is garbage, I'm all about it. But to say this tastes like garbage, it does not. It is a decent tasting candy bar. Uh, second, uh, think about this. I'll go into a bunch of stores, and I did when I tried to find the OG one of these when I wanted to do the comparison, and I had to go to like four or five stores before I could even find a Butterfinger. Yeah. Do you think I had any issues finding a Hershey bar or a Reese's or a Snickers? No, they're everywhere, but I had trouble finding the Butterfinger. So does that give you an idea? They were also sold to another company. So was uh, Butterfinger just lighting up the candy uh, arena and selling just bar after bar after bar? I know it's an iconic uh, candy bar. It's been out for a long time, but think about it. They were sold. They had to do a revamp of the candy bar, and it's hard to find these candy bars. It's not everywhere. So, you know, think about that a little bit, saying, okay, I know and I respect your love for a certain item. I have many products that I will go to bat for, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate you letting me know that you preferred the old one uh, instead of the new one. But at the same time, you can't say that it tastes like garbage. You can't say that I can't be trusted because I slightly liked the new one a little bit better. And one of the other comments that stood out to me was that the new Butterfinger tasted nothing like the old Butterfinger. Incorrect. There's no other candy bar on the market that tastes like a Butterfinger. There might be some similarities here or there, but this flavor is unmistakable, and this new one tastes like a Butterfinger. They just changed the chocolate, and they tweaked the peanuts on the inside, and uh, what I also liked about this new one, it does not stick to your teeth like the old school one. I even got some comments that said they like when it sticks to their teeth. Again, what? You like that you're gonna have fourth meal about four hours later when you're eating like a sub or a burrito and all of a sudden you taste Butterfinger? Okay, maybe some of you out there like that. I don't like that. My dentist doesn't like that. So I am not a fan of it sticking in the teeth. This new one hardly stuck into uh, my teeth where this one did because it is what it is with that uh, Nestle Butterfinger. So I just wanted to get a couple of those out of the way. We're gonna try these again. 
and uh, I'm going to give my honest opinion like I always do. I did find an article, I think it was Business Edition or some article from some business that actually did a side-by-side -side comparison and they actually agreed with me that this one was better and anyone that thought that they had ruined Butterfinger was crazy. Now I will admit, again, that's the minority. I'm in the minority, that person who wrote that article is in the minority, but to say it's garbage, to say they ruined Butterfinger, to say it doesn't taste like Butterfinger, to me is just wrong. So I had to post this video, I think I have like, I don't know, like 400 dislikes on that, and I had to actually scroll pages and pages to find a positive or non-negative comment on this video. Now I don't mind banter, I don't like going back and forth, I don't mind you disagreeing with me, but the things I'm taking umbrage to and wanted to uh, go back for a second try was people saying that it did not taste like the original at all false that it was garbage oh no i'm sorry that it tasted like garbage false and uh there is another one i've been rambling so i wanted to get that out of the way now for the taste test so i did the old school one first and then i did the new one in that one so we're gonna go with the new one first and uh, go from there but you can see it is uh improved recipe butterfinger and it's still yellow with the blue you got the uh, picture of the the uh, bar right there and then you have this one uh that says nestle right there on the package and uh there you go so Let's get to it. All right, check it out. Improved recipe Butterfinger. I'm gonna do it. I'm also gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison as well, uh, but we're opening it up. A little bit of meltage. Peel it down a little bit. There you go. Check it out. Chocolate. There's the bottom. Now, uh, before I take a bite of this, let's check out the other one side-by-side. -side. All right, the OG one. Here we go. Uh, let's see how this goes. I mean, come on, it's candy bars. Whoa, this one, something's going on with this. We have some meltage. This was in the refrigerator. I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's not that hot in the car either. So, all right, let's check it out side by side. There you go. Looks a little uh, smoother on the right compared to the left, even though that one's been kind of tattered a little bit. Uh, so yeah, and I was lucky enough to find an OG uh, Butterfinger uh, I found it at a uh, dollar store, I believe. All right, so here we go. Here is the improved recipe, Butterfinger. All right, so a little bit of sticking in the teeth, but you can see the layers right there of the crispity, chocolatey, peanut buttery Butterfinger on the inside right there. So. All right, so I enjoyed the chocolate, like I said, not garbage chocolate. Uh, to me, Nestle, you know, Nestle, what are they known for? Chocolate. Nestle uh, cocoa. I mean, that's just my opinion. It's like, I always think of Nestle uh, for chocolate, like Palmer, you know, like Palmer chocolate for the Easter bunnies, not the most top-notch quality. So I don't know, but uh, everyone out there seems to love it. But there we go. Let's check out the OG. Wish me luck. All right, so definitely sticking in the teeth uh, more than the other one. And there it is, a little more crumbly, and that's what I got. The uh, new one is a little more layered, so I can see why people probably prefer uh, the old one, if that's the one they like, because the texture definitely is different. But the taste, it's Butterfinger. It's Butterfinger. They didn't ruin it. They might have ruined it in your eyes because you're OG. I respect that. This is something you like. This is what you had as a kid. It's everything you've ever known. I get that. And it's okay to say I'm wrong. I get that too. But the other things, they just don't make sense. I'm okay if you like this one better. They are similar. You can definitely taste uh, the chocolate difference and there is that texture difference. And I will tell you that the peanut butter is more predominant in this one. And there's like a toffee flavor, which I think is why people gravitate to this more and they say, oh no, you changed it. Oh no, it's horrible. Because there is a difference in that, but that's just more peanut butter. And that's what their slogan is, peanut buttery. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, this is a flip of the coin for me. If the OG never existed and that came on the market, it would do fine. It would do fine. It's not a horrible candy bar. People out there saying it's a horrible candy bar. I get it again. I respect your passion. Trust me, no one more passionate about food than me. I've boycotted a place for 15 years. Chili's. Yeah. 
They did me wrong. So I get it. And uh, I'm not mad at you. I just wanted to go in, take a second sample of this, and I've come to the same conclusion. They're very similar, yet different. And one thing I will admit, after going back a second time, I will admit that I can understand why more people are outraged because the texture is different. I'm getting more of a texture difference than I did with the first back-to-back uh, -back, uh, attempt at the taste test. So I'm gonna give you that. But to say that it's garbage, uh, no, it's not garbage. It's just different. It's layered and it's not uh, so much crumbly on the inside. You can see it right there, you know? Now, I'm gonna say it again, Palmer with uh, Easter bunnies, like the candy, very low quality chocolate. So Nestle compared to Ferrera, you can see you know, a little more smooth and there's the difference. So some of you out there might like the taste of this chocolate better than this chocolate, but again, this isn't horrible. This is a candy bar. That would do well if this one didn't exist, but this one exists, people hate this one. I don't hate this one. And uh, like I said, it's probably a coin toss. If I had to say again, I would probably prefer this slightly over the OG. Again, mainly because I don't mind the new texture and the new flavor. I don't mind it because let me tell you, Butterfinger is not up in my top five candy bars of all time. Not gonna happen. I enjoy it, but it's not gonna happen. So this does not affect me as much as it might affect some of you out there that's putting Butterfinger up on the uh, uh, totem pole of candy bar goodness, which again, if it was such a great selling candy bar, not sure why it was sold, not sure why they had to change it. You see where I'm going? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Whether you like to admit it or not, they made changes for a reason. We will never know what those reasons are. But like I said, I've gone to, I don't know, four or five different stores back when I did the first video and I couldn't even find a Butterfinger. Not a new one, not an old one. I couldn't even find it. They didn't stock them. But I found all of those other ones I mentioned. Yeah, so do the math. So to finish this off, I'm not gonna give them a rating. Again, I think they are similar, but I will say I respect uh, the people out there more for saying that uh, they prefer the original one better. I can see that the texture is definitely different and there is like a toffee flavor compared to a more peanut uh, flavor, uh, but the chocolate is different as well. So there you go, another video in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, let me know in the comments. I'm going to probably get some more negative comments on this. I don't care. I don't care. I like the comments. I like the back and forth. I love to debate. Trust me. I love to debate. And if all of those messages coming in were saying, no, you're crazy. The other one's better. Okay, I can respect that. But when you start saying the other stuff, saying it's garbage, saying they ruined Butterfinger, saying it doesn't taste like a Butterfinger, that's where I had a slight issue when I wanted to uh, revisit these two. So I have a little better understanding on how people uh, could prefer the older one. And like I said, to me, they were so close and so similar, uh, which is why I got so triggered when people are like, this tastes nothing like a Butterfinger. It tastes like a Butterfinger. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, this was a different type of video. I've never done anything like this. I will probably never do anything like this again. But uh, the thumbs down and the negative comments were crazy. They were like, I don't even know what they're up to now. I should probably take a look. But uh, I did have to scroll pretty deep to find any type of comment that wasn't negative toward the uh, new version. So uh, again, to end, I respect everyone. I love the passion. I get it. You like the old one better than the new one. I respect that wholeheartedly. Just don't go off the rails and make it something bigger that it's not. Very easy. I don't know. I just filmed for 24 minutes. I probably could have summed this all up in about eight. But you know, I wanted to get some stuff out there and uh, give you my opinion and show you the candy bars again. So uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Comments below. Can't wait to read them. We'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye. All right, bonus footage. Just wanted to show you a close-up of these uh, one on top of the other. You can definitely see where that texture is gonna come into play. And like I said, the chocolate was different and the peanut butter taste compared to a more of a, the best way I can explain it, a toffee flavor. So again, I am very interested to read the comments below and uh, I don't know, that's it.